Yes, thank you, Chair. Um, two brief questions um, to uh, colleague Kirkhope. You said we have to accept the authority of the legal department uh, of the European Commission. I ask you, do you accept the authority of the European Data Protection Supervisor uh, and the Article 29 Working Group, who are both pointing out that this agreement is a, a violation of uh, EU law? And the second question, you rightfully refer to security purposes, but I would like to know why the Conservatives, who are always concerned about small government, they don't want big government, why do you allow the systematic use of these data for public health purposes, immigration uh, uh, policies and customs policies. Thank you. Prego. President, I have no intention of answering the second question because I think that is a matter for another occasion and no doubt uh, Ms. Intervelt and I can have a, a private talk about that. As far as lawyers and opinions are concerned, as a lawyer I am used to giving opinions. I am not always certain that my opinion as an individual lawyer will be followed any more than I believe any particular set of lawyers have got some kind of monopoly on correctness uh, and appropriateness. My view is that the Commission's lawyers were the main lawyers that we should be looking at in this particular context because it is the Commission as guardian of the treaties, the Commission that has to actually enforce matters on behalf of all of us in relation to our international um, uh, agreements that we make. So my view is that the Commission's legal opinion was the main opinion that we should have relied on and I do rely on uh, and whether other opinions would be as important is a matter for co in context. Bene, riprendiamo.